Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Recently Microsoft released a Windows 11 Insider Preview Build, 25197, to the Dev Channel. Starting with this build, you'll get a couple of app updates to Windows Insiders in the Dev Channel, and a tablet-optimized taskbar, and system tray updates. Microsoft is reintroducing the touch-optimized taskbar to this build. The touch-optimized taskbar is designed to make you feel more confident and comfortable using your device as a tablet. Your taskbar will automatically transition to this optimized version when you disconnect or fold back the keyboard on your 2-in-1 device. This feature only works on devices that can be used as tablets. It does not work on laptops or desktop PCs. As a reminder, there are two states of this taskbar, collapsed and expanded. In the collapsed state, the taskbar gets out of your way, gives you more screen space, and prevents you from accidentally invoking the taskbar when you're holding your tablet. In the expanded state, the taskbar is optimized to be easier to use with touch. You can easily switch between the two states by swiping up and down on the bottom of your device. If this feature is available, you will see a new setting at Taskbar Settings, Taskbar Behaviors, called Optimized Taskbar for Touch Interactions when this device is used as a tablet which will be set to on by default. For the System Tray Update, this update introduces updates to the system tray that affect all device types, not just two-in-one devices. With this change, users will see a rounded focus and hover treatment on all icons in the lower right, due to the continued modernization of this experience. If you don't have these features enabled by default, after updating to this build, you can enable these features, by following the guide from the i button. For the changes and improvements, Microsoft is beginning to roll out animated icons and illustrations in the settings app. Again, if you don't have the new animated icons and illustrations in the settings, you can enable it by following the guide from the i button. Moving to the fixes in this build, for system tray updates. The taskbar should no longer flash because of changes in the system tray and non-tablet optimized scenarios. Fixed an issue that was causing parts of the taskbar or its icons like search to get stuck in the wrong themes colors when switching between light and dark themes. Date and time should no longer get stuck cutting off on the side of the screen from system tray changes. For start, fixed a crash that users were seeing when using start's recommended section. For the file explorer, fixed an issue leading to a small set of insiders with launch folder windows in a separate process not being able to launch file explorer in the last two flights due to an explorer.exe crash. Also, did some work to help improve the performance of deleting files via file explorer. When emptying the recycle bin or using shift plus delete, in the case where there are a large number of files being deleted at once. For the settings app, updated the design of the lists displayed under apps, startup apps, and apps, advanced app settings, app execution alias pages to be more consistent with other settings pages. Fixed an issue which could lead to settings crashing when removing devices. Also, updated the personal dictionary section under privacy and security, inking and typing personalization to now say custom word list. For the widgets, fixed an issue that was making the weather icon in the taskbar draw too high and with no text in recent flights. For the windowing, clicking the title bar portion of a preview thumbnail in task view should now actually switch to that app, instead of just closing task view. Also fixed a sporadic explorer.exe crash which could happen when using alt plus tab or task view. For the task manager, fixed an issue impacting task manager reliability. If graphs have been hidden on the performance page, the circles used to identify each of the different sections should be less blurry now. So, that was all the fixes for this build. Talking about the app updates. Microsoft is rolling out an update for, the Calculator, and the Media Player app. Calculator, version 11.2208.1.0, Microsoft has added native ARM64 support to Calculator. You'll see faster and better performance when you use the app on ARM64 devices. For the Media Player, Media Player, version 11.2208.22.0, Microsoft has added the ability to edit video files in Clipchamp, with the new Edit with Clipchamp action available. When you right-click a video in your library, and in the lower right corner of the video player UI under more options when playing a video file. If you have Clipchamp configured, you can continue to edit, and if not, you'll need to get Clipchamp first. Also, if you haven't got any updated apps, make sure to update your library from the Microsoft Store app. So, that was all from Microsoft for this build. If you want to know more, follow the link to the official Microsoft blog, from the description. Hope it was useful. Consider like for the video. Subscribe to the channel, and if you have any questions, just comment down below. Thanks for watching, and have a great day ahead.